question of stopping anytime soon. KITV's Maleka McDonald discovered the unique history of Uncle Tom Moffat, this week's Hawaii MVP. I was playing records, and all of a sudden I'm noticing the reaction to this rock and roll, Bill Haley and the Comets. Then Elvis came along. So I started playing this, and all of a sudden I had the number one radio show at night. And that's how it all started, because he was so good in it. Uncle Tom Moffat is forever a part of the musical fabric of Hawaii. A lot has changed since his start at radio at KGU in 1952, but he's still on radio, hosting Saturdays at 107.9 Cool Gold. I step in the studio and it's like I'm back in the early days of rock, and it's, I just enjoy it. And the phone calls, and, and I, think, I think I bring back the youth of many people's lives by doing that show. Hard to believe, but Moffitt almost wasn't a DJ at all. When he arrived in Hawaii in 1950, he had different plans. I went to UH to become an attorney. <laughs> really? <laughs> then I, I got in the radio class up there and uh, decided I might, I, I, liked, I liked what I was doing and I got a job at a commercial station here for the summer uh, after my second year of college. It's Uncle Tom, Tom, March is on. Moffitt quit school to become a full-time radio DJ at KGU in 1952. The same year, many young Hawaii men were being drafted. I was learning so much, so I decided not to go back to college for a while and stay in radio. Listen, to, we're during the Korean conflict, and the draft board saw that I wasn't in school, so I got drafted. At the height of the Korean War, most of those drafted just assumed they were being deployed to Korea. I was about to take off with my uh, mates to head for Korea, and the tough old sergeant called me into his office. He said, look, I know your background. You did some radio downtown. They're looking for a radio announcer at Armed Forces Radio at Tripler Hospital. But when they had the old uh, marquee at the Hawaii Theater. And Moffitt is especially grateful to the man who made that call, that tough old sergeant. His name was Presley, Sergeant Presley. I had, the, the name didn't mean anything then, yeah? <laughs> it's kind of ironic. <laughs> he probably saved my life. Because a lot of the guys I trained with at Schofield didn't come back. How about a round of applause for Miss Dee Dee Sharp? Yeah! After the war, Moffitt took every opportunity to share music with Hawaii. He even hosted his own dance show on KITV, back then KHVH, which aired right after Dick Clark's American Bandstand. He recalls the night he met Elvis, after a marathon radio shift getting fans ready for the show. That night I interviewed Elvis, and uh, we talked. And I said, Elvis, what did you think of the program today? Talking about my playing him. He said, well, I liked it, but I got kind of tired of it for a while, and I changed. Because <laughs> all I played was Elvis. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> well, here's a good one. We'll never forget Moffitt's influence. Over the past 64 years, most every major touring band in the world that came through Hawaii did so with his help. That's the best thing about it, is you, you get a full house, and you get a, an act that's relating to the audience. The audience feeds back with response, and the act feeds back with a, a great show. Moffat's showing no signs of slowing down. He's still working on landing that next great show. Well, my goal is to bring Paul McCartney to Aloha Stadium. I would love to do that. I think we'll keep seeing big names coming in. Uh, a lot of artists are uh, intrigued with coming and playing in Hawaii. There's a demand for shows here, luckily by the artists and by the fans. So I think it'll keep, it'll keep happening. And fans keep coming and groups keep coming. <laughs> Giving the people what they want. Uncle Tom Moffat, our Hawaii MVP. Maleka McDonald, KITV Island News. What a legacy and what an incredible journey to think yeah. that you're going to start out as an attorney and going in a totally different direction. Yeah, you know you've been around for a while when you're like, I noticed this thing called rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. This thing. <laughs> Pretty incredible, all the music that he has brought to Hawaii. We love it. Thanks so much to Malika.